So the other day I was reading some article for fun about science and stuff called Defending Science Within Reason by Susan Hack, and I read this really cool sentence. It said, a scientific claim or theory is true just in case things are as it says. If it says that DNA is a double helical backbone L macromolecule with like unlike base pairs, it is true that DNA is a double helical backbone L macromolecule with like unlike base pairs. What does that mean? My interpretation of this sentence is that without evidence of its claims, science doesn't have any value. If scientific theories and claims aren't, pr aren't proven by what re happens in reality, then there isn't any point to having people study science, since it won't apply to real life. This means that if a scientist has bias in their views, then the results of their research becomes less meaningful. Well then, how can you use science to prove that something is true if there is always bias? My friend, I looked into it further and I found another thing about these things called truth makers. Wait, I have never heard of a truth maker before. What the is truth it? maker is the part of the statement that gives it validity, thus the making... Evidence is what makes science true and valuable. In order for a scientific claim or theory to be true, it needs a truth maker that gives the statement validity. This statement is about how evidence is the truth maker for science and how science is not a truth maker for reality. The example in this statement that supports this is the evidence that DNA is a double vehicle backbone out macromolecule with like with unlike base pairs is the truth maker for the scientific claim that DNA is a double helical backbone out molecule with like with unlike base Wow, pairs. that's awesome. You're really cool. The only way for science to be true and useful is if the truth maker is unbiased. However, if human bias is involved in collecting evidence, which is the science's truth maker, then science itself is flawed since bias adds different perspectives and information that may not be true. Also, science first starts off as a theory, which is okay to have bias, but this bias can lead science in a biased direction, which can cause skewed results and evidence. These theories are true only if what they say happens to be a valid fact. So does this mean that science is always going to be flawed and thus shouldn't be trusted? Science does have a certain level of value, but people make science out to be more than it truly is. In her article, Hack says that science is not sacred. Like all human enterprises, it is um, truly f valuable, imperfect, uneven in its achievements, often fumbling, sometimes corrupt, and of course, incomplete. Neither, however, is it a confident trick. The natural sciences, at any rate, have surely been among the most successful of human enterprises. So, although science is not as fantastic and omnipotent as people may think it is, it is still something very important to human life and to our society. Don't be fooled into thinking that science knows everything, but don't be so skeptical that you automatically assume that science But evidence is collected by humans who are always prone to bias. So does this mean that science will always be flawed? Science will only be flawed if the truth maker making the scientific theory is invalidated by containing any form of bias. I suppose that seems logical. Yes, it does. Science can also prove things incorrect using truth makers. How is that? I thought a truth maker only proves everything true. Therefore, if you don't know the truth maker, how can you prove something truth false? Truth maker in a mutually exclusive statement can be used to disprove that it. That makes sense. Do you understand truth makers best? Yes. Prove it. Well, a truth maker is a thing that makes truth, and science should be taken at face value since it's always open to bias.